Good morning, all. So, today in the morning, I had to get some stuff situated. I had to handle some stuff. Then I went to my car, and then I'm getting into my car, just putting some stuff down, getting, you know, ready to drive off and everything like that. And in the meanwhile, here comes this Latina woman. She pulls up or whatever right next to me, beeping at me and yelling at me. And I pulled my window down. I'm like, excuse me? And, she, you know, she tried to backpedal a little, try to, you know, calmly start to ask me if I move in my car I said excuse me I just got in my car and you're not gonna bully me and tell me to drive off like don't 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 come for me like that and she's like I just want to know are you are you I, I said listen here you immigrant bitch do not talk to me like that and do not rush me I'll drive off in my car whenever I feel like it and then she drove up then try to reverse whatever oh you call me an immigrant bitch you're an immigrant too bitch fuck you i was born in america obviously you weren't you're a fucking immigrant get the fuck out of here so whatever she ends up driving off whatever and then it was funny because a security guard actually seen it and you know he he was like oh wow like he was laughing or whatever because he was like yo that 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 was kind of crazy you literally just got in your car or whatever and yeah like she was just trying to bully me or whatever the case may be so i say all that to say that if you all notice and it's not just me i say this here for america nationwide state to state a lot of these Latin immigrants specifically, um, they tend to be very bold and they tend to be very disrespectful. And I think it's time that people stop supporting mainly their restaurants because they're very, dis even in the restaurants when they serve you at, at, a, at a number of these restaurants, they're very disrespectful. Now, I want to make things very clear when I talk about these Latinos. Um, I'm not talking about the Puerto Ricans because obviously Puerto Rico, you know, it's a U.S. territory. I'm not talking about the Dominicans and I'm not talking about the Cubans. These, these are the Caribbean Latinos, so to speak, correct? And um, it, it's mostly primarily, I could tell that she was either Central American or South American disrespecting me like that. There's no, she she could barely speak English. She like, you know, whatever. Um, she had a hardcore accent. You could tell she, she's an immigrant. I don't give a fuck whether she's legal or illegal. She's a fucking immigrant. She, she's not born here in America like myself. And I wanted to say that these immigrants are very bold and they're very disrespectful. And when you look at New York and you look at Chicago, the inner cities, you see that the black community is actually voicing themselves at this point in time. And um, I can very much say that, you know, you get what you vote for. And I do say that to the black American community because... You had me and other community, me and other conservatives. We were saying, no, you shouldn't vote for these illegal aliens to come in because when they come in, they're gonna take your jobs. They're gonna, it's gonna be evil. It's gonna be a doggy dog world, and you're gonna see what type of time they're on when you actually see them come here in droves, right? Donald Trump tried to warn everybody, but he was called a racist for whatever he was saying. Um, you know, when he's talking about fentanyl and everything and how they're coming in, they're not sending their best people. And I want to make things very clear. You know, if you have people flooding in, you have a pastor, you have a doctor, you have a lawyer, and then you have a drug smuggler, and then you have a rapist, and you have a killer. If you're not sending the pastor and the doctor and the nurse, but rather you're selling the, you're sending the smuggler and the rapist and the killer, those are not the best people to send. And that is pretty much what Donald Trump was saying. But people were dumb. They didn't understand. We happen to be spoiled Americans. And such is life. So we are here now, unfortunately. And uh, within the, I mean, you have illegal immigrants that are coming in that just want a better opportunity. Anybody will come in through the border if they can, right? I'm not taking that from anybody. But what I'm saying is it is specifically the Central American and South Americans that are coming in through the border and they're be being very disrespectful. Um, and it's to the point where, yes, Black Americans in the inner city of Chicago are speaking out about it. You know, they're speaking out about it for the past couple of months. And um, yes, this is what they voted for, unfortunately. And some people might think that the election system is rigged. Some people probably don't think it's rigged. But aside from voting in the sense of casting a ballot, another form of voting is using your voice. And it was the black community that said, hey, illegal immigrants should just come in oh, this country was founded by immigrants anyway. Like, you know, they were doing stuff like that. But you have to understand you're in the here and now. And when these immigrants come in, they're taking your jobs. They're saying, forget about your children. Our children can take up your schools. We get the jobs. Fuck English. We're going to speak Espanol. You see, you drive through the drive through in McDonald's and you're ordering food. And they got Spanish people that barely speak English. And they're getting upset with you because you're speaking English to them. And they don't even know how to reciprocate the English back to you. 
But that's been going on for years. But at least when Donald Trump was in office, at least, you know, they turned the volume down a little bit. But now, you know, they're, they're just being very disrespectful and they're being very bold again, as we all can see. And for example, you know, even though this is what a lot of Americans voted for, for illegal immigration, does that also mean on the flip side that it's OK for Latin immigrants to just be disrespectful the way that they are? Like you just as an American citizen, you're walking down the street or in my case, I'm getting into my car. You think it's OK for these Latin people to just to just bully us as Americans and say, get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm like, no, it's not right. It's absolutely not right. And I wish Americans were not so spoiled and so weak. And I wish we could all come together and stop supporting these Central American and South American restaurants. I'm not saying this to the Caribbean sector of the, of the Latinos. I'm not saying this towards the Puerto Rican restaurants, Dominican restaurants or Cuban restaurants. I'm saying this mostly towards the Central American and South Americans, because those are the ones that are being very disrespectful towards us. And it, it's, it's not right. And again, I know Americans are weak, um, so it would be hard to pull something like this off. Um, but I think that we should stop supporting their restaurants because they're very disrespectful. And yes, they're disrespectful mainly towards black Americans or any, it's not even about black Americans. They just, because they have colorism within the Latino community, right? They think the whiter, the pale you are, the more close to, to Spaniard you are, right? Um, so the, she, that's why the lady said, oh, you're an immigrant too. No, I'm not an immigrant. I was born in America, but you know, she was being very disrespectful and she's very ignorant and stupid. She's a fucking immigrant and she needs to go back to wherever the fuck she came from clearly. But I think that they're also, not that I think, but I know that they're also white Americans complaining about what they're doing. So it's just pretty much Americans in general that these Latin people are being very disrespectful to. And, you know, I think that, you know, especially if you put the power in my hand, I think that us as Americans should come together and stop supporting these Central American and South American restaurants because, and it could be temporary because I know Americans are weak and Americans are spoiled, but we need to teach them that you're here in our country. We didn't come to your country. You came to our country of America. You fled third world countries. You fled communism. You came here for a reason because you can't do what you do here in your country. So stop disrespecting us. Stop playing games with us. Stop being bold and disrespectful. If you want to play that way, go back to wherever the fuck you came from. You're an, you're an alien. You're an illegal alien. You're an immigrant. You need to go back to wherever the fuck you came from. And don't be scared of these motherfuckers neither. They're very bold and they're very disrespectful. And they need to know, learn their motherfucking lesson. Because I'm not playing with them. And I don't think any other American should be playing with them neither. And yeah, I'm saying stop supporting your restaurants. And I'm saying that today on Taco Tuesday. Clearly. 